high this time of year. We began at 52 this morning. Now here's a look at tomorrow in your four zone forecast and we will get to the mid and upper 60s across the area. Do plan on seeing a lot more sunshine tomorrow than what we saw today. Close to 70 in some of our counties down there in the south zone. West zone high temperatures will be in the mid 60s tomorrow. 67 looks like a, a good number out there. And our north zone, a lot of mid 60s here, uh, even some upper 60s down towards M59 as we finish out our Friday afternoon. Now tomorrow out in the central plain states that dark orange color there that's 20 to 30 degrees above normal temperatures that entire patch of warmth will start sliding towards us so as we get into the upcoming weekend the purple numbers you see those are records the red numbers in front those are our forecast highs and look at how close those are going to be at least three of the four days we've got a good chance of at least tying a record if not beating it monday may fall just a little bit short but it's still going to be the warmest of the forecast. We are still keeping an eye on Ada, even though it is a tropical depression and it's still down there in Central America. And the reason we're watching it is because where it's going next, it will likely interact with Cuba sometime this weekend and then make a hard left turn into the Gulf of Mexico as we get into early next week. Now, the water temperatures there in the Gulf are cooler than they were earlier in the hurricane season, but they're still 80 degrees or better. So that's not going to add a ton of fuel to that storm, but it could keep it together as it heads somewhere towards the Gulf Coast next week. 47 will be our low temperature tonight. Skies clearing and we will be waking up with sunshine tomorrow. So a bright day, a warmer one as well and still well above average for this time of year. But the peak warmth does show up there on Monday at 71. And then after a cold front comes through there Tuesday and Wednesday, that's really our only shot of rain in the forecast. We'll start watching those numbers fall next week. In fact, 50s there Wednesday and Thursday. And that's average. That's what a typical November would feel like, and we know nothing of that.